Hello. Last month, as my husband and I entered a parking lot to attend a meeting with TV USD HR department, we passed the TVHS parking lot and saw teachers protesting a pending school board decision on curriculum by holding up signs that read, trust the teachers. Ironically, our meeting with HR was an interview to discuss a recent incident with a TVHS drama teacher who assigned our 15-year-old daughter a class project that included reading a play filled with pornography, illicit drug use, explicit sexual content, and gore. We were both shocked and said, trust the teachers, really? To what extent? Were the teachers suggesting that we should just trust them and their choices for curriculum instead of collaborating with the school board and parents? We had trusted them. Even more, we defended our choice to keep our kids in the public school system when others, so many others, were choosing to leave. After being forced to discuss our child's unsettl the unsettling chi material that she read with our child, our daughter faced um, not only having to do that, but also our daughter faced retaliation from students, from faculty members, from the community, some going so far as to blame my student for choosing the play when it gave no clear warning of the content, no permission slip to the parent. HBO says on, as a warning that it contains sexual gore. These people had no concern that what was given to my child. I came to ask you for policy and for you to set parameters for curriculum that would prevent the distribution of non-age ma appropriate material and to protect, protect students from situations like we faced. I am hopeful that policy will be swiftly and unanimously passed to protect our kids. Curriculum could easily be tested by simply sending it through your email system already in place here at the district. It's pretty good at finding objectionable content because when I sent it through, it objected to the play that you gave my child. It wouldn't, it wouldn't allow it through. It flagged it, returned to sender. It was too graphic. But somehow, a teacher was able to give that to my kid on her Chromebook. It's become clear to me early on that there are people who are interested in my daughter and her, her well-being and that others are not. There are some people, even one on this board tonight, who touted his relationship with the teacher and 30 seconds. said that he, def he was in defense of him instead of asking or giving any consideration to my child. I'm asking for you guys to rally behind me, for the community to rally behind me. Um, if you are interested in joining our fight, please go to TemeculaTransparency.com and you can send an email to TemeculaTransparency at gmail.com just to rally behind our board. Thank you.